so first mechanical properties we are going to study that elasticity so let me explain about what is elasticity a liquid or gas adapt itself to the shape of its container but a solid has a shape of its own suppose we are taking a solid and which tends to pressure so if we are giving a load with a solid that solid will change its dimension solid it change its dimension but the resulting deformation will disappear upon unloading this tendency of a deformed solid to seek its original dimension upon uplo uploading is described the property of elasticity in simple word we we are explaining the elasticity that is loading a solid will change its dimension but the resulting deformation will disappear upon unloading this tendency of a deformed solid to seek its original dimension is called elasticity and every metals has their own elastic elastic limit and the elasticity requires a discussion of the concept of stress and strain and those this called modulus of elasticity and the mathematically it is determined as the elastic or young's modulus or elasticity is equal to stress by strain you are already studying what is stress and what is strain we know that the stress is load per unit area and the strain is defined as change in length and the original length when the before the deformation of the measurement and after the deformation this is called original length So the elasticity is equal to stress by strain, that is denoted as capital E. The next one is your plasticity of a material. So, what is a plasticity of a material? Plasticity is a property of a material by which it may be permanently deformed when it has been subjected to an externally applied load. To exceed the elastic limit we know that every material has a elastic limit or has a own elastic limit the plasticity is a permanently deformed when it has been subjected to an external applied force when we are applying a force into a material it is exit to an it is exit to an permanently deformation and it has been subjected to an externally applied load it is called the plasticity of a material and the mechanism of the plastic deformation is different in crystalline materials and amorphous material those are the both material one is your crystalline materials and another one is your amorphous material in your crystalline materials it is undergo plastic deformation as the result of slip along with a definite plane it is all about plasticity properties of a material next we are going for the toughness of a material what is the toughness toughness that is the ability of the material to absorb energy during plastic deformation up to fracture it means when toughness refers to the ability of a material to withstand bending or the application of shear stress we know that what is bending and what is shear stress in your strength of material topic and the toughness is the ability to withstand bending or the application of shear stress without fracture like your example copper is extremely tough but cast iron is not so it is the difference between copper and cast iron that copper has the uh, uh, maximum toughness and the cast iron is the minimum toughness for the static situation toughness may be understand from the result of a tensile stress and tensile strain test so it is all about the toughness of a material next is your resilience what is the resilience property of a material so resilience so re resilience is know that so what is resilience 
it is the capacity of a material to absorb energy when it is elastically deformed and then uploading to have this energy recovered it means resilience is closely related to toughness it is the capacity of a material to absorb energy when it is elastically deformed and then upon unloading to have this energy is recovered so resilience is usually measured by determining the rebound of a pendulum or uh, your ball after a single impact it represents uh, the ratio of energy given on recovery from deformation to energy required and to produce the deformation so it is called the resilience property of a mechanical material next is your tensile strength in your simple word any kind of pull stress is called tensile strength we are pulling any kind of material it is called tensile stress or the strength is applied to that material is called tensile strength so it is also a mechanical properties of a material in a tensile test the ratio of the maximum load to original cross sectional area is called tensile strength it is commonly taken a basis of working stress for brittle material so the ultimate tensile strength refers to the force needed to the fracture material when we are giving any kind of force to any kind of tensile tensile force to a fracture material the stress is acting on that material is called tensile strength and the tensile strength value is commonly taken as a basis for fixing the working stress especially in brittle material so next is your yield strength and this is the a line diagram of a yield strength where we are putting one line that is your stress that is denoting your stress and putting another line that is denoted as your strain and this is the yield point what does that mean the yield point and here the yield strength in the yield point the accordingly strain is called yield strain for what is the yield point when material are subjected to a tensile force they stretch or elongate as the stress increases the point where the stress suddenly increases is the yield strain the yield point is known as when the the point where the stress is suddenly increases the material increases its yield strength and the point is called yield point so so the yield strain of a material represent the strains below which the deformation is almost entirely elastic next is your impact strain impact strength what is impact strength the capacity of a material to resist or absorb shock energy before it fractures is called its impact load it is complex properties of toughness and strength of a material so impact strength is a complex characteristics or complex properties which takes into account both toughness and strength of material it consists of both toughness and the strength of a material it is the capacity of a material to resist or absorb shock energy when we uh, we are giving any kind of shock or any kind of sex, uh, shock stress to a uh, material it is called the impact strain means we are giving the sudden load or we are giving a sudden stress so it is called impact stress impact strength depends upon the structure of a material fully it is sensitive to rate of loading and to the temperature as well as the stress reserve it is highly sensitive of a material that is the impact stress is highly sensitive of loading and it is highly temperature as well as the stress also reaches accordingly it is called the impact strength of a material